Hello all, Emirates back. Um, in a prior video, I was having issues with my wheels. Uh, basically, uh, they've got corroded and uh, I created a video uh, to ask people, how can I get rid of the corrosion? Is it possible to get rid of it using DIY? Most people actually said to me that just get them re-diamond cut, so diamond cut wheels, get them diamond cut and no one seems to bother about expense these days. Um, when I initially rang up about these uh, wheels to get them all diamond cut, we were talking like seven to eight hundred pounds. The quote I got was about seven fifty. Seven hundred and fifty pounds. Is this something where, with a little bit of elbow grease, can we actually, you know, take this corrosion out? I tried using um, a polish, an alloy polish, and it didn't touch it mainly because these wheels are coated in quite a thick um, well a lot of these wheels are coated in a thick layer of um, clear coat solution because if it's not alloy corrodes very very quickly and what's happened is on these wheels the corrosion has actually uh, the, the, the condensation moisture has seeped under certain parts of the clear coat and started to make it into a milky looking corrosion which i hope to achieve to be removed today i've been shy and clear of this for far too long and i've really got to pull my finger out and get on with this job now because it's starting to look bad my wheels are starting to look bad let's take a closer look um it's a very very bright hot day today so i don't know if you're going to see the full extent but hopefully you can but if you look here this is where somebody scratched my wheels some little kids little terrors um Hopefully that's just scratching a lot of the clear coat, I don't know. Uh, you can see this milky corrosion here and it's getting worse all the time and it needs to be stopped. This is the worst wheel, so I'm actually gonna be focusing on just, I'm actually, I'm actually um, just gonna be focusing on one uh, wheel today, as this is the worst wheel. And as you can see, that's quite a lot of milky corrosion, which I hope to get rid of. Anyway, I'll just show you what I've got. First off, more importantly, it's a hot day. I've got some fizzy pop, so I don't get dehydrated. Something I might go to, um, some uh, emery uh, paper, wet and dry. Uh, very fine stuff I might use to get rid of the scratches if required. I've got some brushes to po coat, uh, to use with a uh, acidic solution. I've got to take the clear, clear coat off. Uh, let's have a look. We've got this uh, very, active uh, VHT strip fast somebody recommended and uh, that's an aggressive paint remover so I don't know if that's going to stain the alloy but somebody used it on their alloys and they, they done okay so that's the VHT, uh, VHT strip fast um, if all goes to a plan and everything goes fantastic I've got uh, the alloy wheel clear coat lacquer to put back on for protection because that uh, acidy stuff that we've just showed you in that tin VHT um, can be you know quite nasty if you get it on your skin and I've got these from home base these um, PVC gauntlet gloves protects hands from most harsh substances so hope that's gonna be better than having bare hands isn't it uh, Vitrex 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 uh, only a pound from home base fantastic and I've got some uh, mask and tape to put on the tires and elsewhere where required and that's about it anyway the first the first step is to get rid of the clear coat i've just cleaned the wheels and uh, got all the grub and grime off and i'm going to get rid of that clear coat by spraying this solution here let's see if it's i don't see if i'm on camera this solution here uh that's the lacquer sorry no vht i'm just going to take the lid off and spray it into the lid and then I'm actually going to paint it on so I know exactly where it's going I can't spray it on because I don't want it to take, touch anything else so it'd be everywhere wouldn't it on the paintwork all over the place so actually I'm actually going to paint it on with this set of brushes I've got only a fiver for them anyway let's do that first job I'll put it in a time lapse so you don't want to be waiting for me all this time and uh, see how we get on fingers crossed I'm not going to mess it up catch you in a bit <music> Right, 
that's the uh, tape I put on. Uh, that's mainly to stop any acid going on the tyres. I'm not sure how it's going to affect the tyres. Obviously, it's not great. And uh, obviously, that's going to help me later when I put the uh, clear coat on. I'll put an extra sort of bag around it to stop, stop it going on the, uh, the paintwork. Now, the next stage is to um, put some of this. Get, get me an adequate brush. Let me have a look. Let's see what brush I've got. One sec. I think I put one glove on initially and the idea is to spray a little bit in there so I can actually paint it on and not spray this nasty acid all over the place. Let's see if I can do that. Actually I'm a bit, bit, bit concerned so I'm going to put my other glove on just in case. I'll probably take that off in a moment when I've sprayed it. Let's have a look. Well, there you have it. Hopefully it's not going to eat through the, uh, the lid. And let's... Um, Let's apply it, but first, let's just make sure you're being able to see what I'm seeing. Right, let's have a look. There we go. Oh dear. on to remove the clear coat uh, I was only going to actually do one spoke but I got talking to a neighbor not mentioned any names <coughs> Chris and he said when he does things he does things to full hog you know he just don't do a spoke do the whole wheel so I just thought well you know take a chance do it if all else fails I'll blame him too right anyway I'm doing the whole wheel. If I can do this whole wheel, obviously all the rest of the wheels, you know, for the sake of the video, all the rest of the wheels will be doable. Fantastic. But at the moment, I'm a bit relieved that um, one of the things that I was worried about is that the wheels may become discolored as soon as the acid, this uh, VHT, um, touched it. But no, it doesn't appear to be uh, affecting the wheel hopefully it's going to take the clear coat off apparently somebody used it and it worked very well i'm just going to leave that for five minutes maybe 10 and be right back catch you in a bit right back again it's been about 10 minutes uh, 10 15 minutes you can see it started to bubble um, and apparently that's the time when you can start to take it off um, i've just scraped a little bit and I think I might need to give it another coat, but this video in time lapse will me well simply be me taking off the next layer of this um, quite hard. Um, well, obviously a high quality. It's a Mercedes car, high quality um, clear coat. Uh, some of it comes off pretty easy. Let me see if I can get a, a closer look. What's going on? Let's just lower this tripod a little bit so you can have a closer look. I think the one promising thing I'm seeing at the moment was a lot of the scratches that were on the wheels appeared to be on that thick outer clear coat. So the scratches have gone. Um, it's just the corrosion, uh, the little corrosion parts, a bit like this. Uh, you, there you go. You can see how the um, corrosion is starting to darken up, darken up around here. But all in all. It's sort of looking promising. I'm not really sure at the moment. Anyway, let me put this in time lapse and clean this first layer of clear coat off and we'll see what happens. But it's a bit touch and go at the moment. A little bit promising. Yeah, so anyway, let's see what goes on. Catch you. <laughs> Right, 
Right, the clear coat is all off, um, but I had to, I didn't film it, but I had to do it another two more times because there was little bits that were really hard to get off. And uh, finally, it was therapeutic when it comes off. It's quite nice. Um, and finally, I've got all the clear coat off. And what's the plan now? Well, the plan is um, seeing if I can polish the uh, bits of corrosion out. It looks uh, a lot better now, and it should. It should come out with some polish. If not, I will use a. I'm, I'm a bit hesitant about using a very fine emery paper, but uh, we'll give it a go. I've gone this far, so stay tuned. Catch you in a bit. Need to. Right, I'm back with a polish. Uh, the idea is to polish. Uh, hopefully, that will do the trick. Uh, I've got this Auto Saw, very well known polish, which says it's brilliant for chrome, aluminium, and, and metal polish. It's brilliant. Let's see how brilliant it is. I'll put it in time lapse again, and we'll see if this can touch it. If not, it's uh, that drastic uh, low uh, low grade emery paper. Oh, anyway, fingers crossed for this. Catch you in a bit. Well. I've polished using the brilliant, the so-called brilliant chrome aluminium metal polish and it hasn't really done a lot. It's improved it, but it tends to be, um, you, start, you still see the sort of water ingress um, that initially come under the um, clear coat. Uh, let's take a closer look. You see here, here, generally a lot of places the water um, actually come through so it's actually that very very fine wet and dry is the next step oh a bit worried about that but I'll try it on one spoke and see how we get on actually I won't do a time lapse on this I will just have it on normal um, normal play on uh, and see how we get on with one spoke thanks it's not gonna take long is it anyway be right back right it's quite nasty through there that would do we'll start there easier to get at Let's fold this up a little bit. Right, let's see what happens. Right, it's looking better, um, but it's still not taken out some of the blemishes and I've come this far I really want to make it look good so I'm going to take it one grade higher be right back Two more. right about half an hour has passed and I'm reasonably happy with the outcome uh, you can see where very faintly where water ingress has come in, but I didn't notice it when the uh, clear coat was on. So hopefully that sort of minor water ingress can be uh, achieved when I p apply the clear coat and it might not, the reflection of the clear coat might not actually show those very, very fine water ingress. I'll show you what I mean. If you can see, there's this very, very faint where the water's at various places has actually got into the onto the aluminium if a lot of that's taken away with the uh, clear coat that'd be fantastic um, there's no scratches anymore uh, the majority of the the main corrosion has gone uh, all I've got to do now is get a bucket of water wash it off and uh, work out how I'm going to do the uh, clear coat lacquer and we'll see what we'll see what the outcome is would it have been worth the effort? I've been here probably about three and a half hours messing around with this wheel. Anyway, let's get that bucket of water and be right back. Hello once again, final stage. Uh, weather's still nice, so what I'm gonna do is just uh, got myself a bucket of water here. Uh, I've got some bags so I can prep round. I'll get my um, masking tape out, the master wheels, and we're put on the uh, spray on the uh, clear coat. It's getting a bit of a breeze, so it's gonna be a bit more difficult, but I shall mask around the body of the car, obviously, with, with these bags. And uh, hopefully, that's uh, those very small uh, water ingress 
marks will be uh, eliminated. We won't notice them. Anyway, that's the that's the gamble. That's the plan. But I need to actually uh, cover these wheels because within just a couple of days they will start oxidising. They really do need to be sealed, as they end or end up, you know, back to where I started, if not worse. Anyway, let me wash these wheels and I'll be right back. Well, all this wheel rather. Hello again. Right, I've done my prep work. What do you think? Couple of bin, couple of bin bags, masking tape around the wheels. Might just tidy that up a little bit, and uh, time to start spraying to let it pop a little bit. Um, can't do any more. Is it going to be good enough? I don't know. Let's see what happens with the. Um, basically, I could put the clear coat on. Um, basically, you spray that about approximately 12 inches foot from the uh, wheel, and you can put layers. Put a layer on, then you've got to wait 15 minutes, and you can put another layer on. So every 15 minutes, I can put a layer on. I don't know how many layers I put on. I'll see what it looks like after a couple. Anyway, catch you in a bit. Right, that's it, I've had enough. One thing I did actually forget to say was to actually put something on the disc so you wouldn't get the disc covered in um, clear coat. That wouldn't be cool, good, would it? And it'd be quite dangerous. Um, so I've had to put rags inside. I've put about four layers, four coats rather. Let it dry about every 15 minutes and this is the outcome. I'm not over the moon. It is actually better than what it, it, it looked previously with all the white corrosion showing. It hasn't popped as that silver pop like you know um, it did originally because when you're sanding obviously it's gonna um, you're gonna have to put so much more effort in to get that you know and polish to get that uh, uh, shine back um, I'm in hindsight I should have went straight on to quite an abrasive uh, a more abrasive um, wet and dry I believe and then worked my way back a little bit more uh, elbow grease required but that's the way to go you know go maybe start off on a buck of 400 then go back to an 8 and then a 1200 and then finally polish it up and it will really pop I've not, not really put the effort in um, I really needed a bit more time and I really needed to plan a little bit better and this is all an experiment never done it before but I think um, when I do the wheel on the other side um, I'm very very confident I'm not going to get the acid staining the wheels which I was initially worried about and um, I just make my life easier by going with a wet and dry and like I said just work my way back to the polish and really make it pop so it is actually doable um, I'm pleased with the outcome and um, yeah fantastic I'm confident to do the other wheel now and uh, save me a couple more hundred pounds maybe even do the front wheels I don't know that's, that's a little bit too much but anyway if you enjoyed the video please press the like button be hugely appreciate it it all makes a difference to YouTube and uh, maybe share um, the video if you see this on facebook or any other social media group be fantastic and um anyway thanks for watching and catch you all in the next video cheers all emmerichs